Hi everyone, welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber. I am going to be taking you with us to the Las Vegas Arts District, but first, breakfast. So here I'm showing you a shot of Makers and Finders, which is one of the coffee shops slash restaurants that we visited here on this day. And I absolutely loved it. As you can see here, we had to come back the next day for another round of breakfast. I just showed you guys Main Street here on Charleston Boulevard and Main Street in the corner. So down on Main Street is what most of the shops and the restaurants are. And you can probably see here the stratosphere right behind me. Um, so that's where most of the, that's where Makers and co uh, Makers Coffee is. And they are delicious. I highly recommend. The food was really, really good. Their coffee is amazing. The Mexican ice latte, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, so that's here on Main Street where it is. There's a couple of other shops which I'll show you here um, on Charleston in the corner of Main Street, and, Main Street and Charleston. So I'll show you guys that, but definitely I recommend coming to the Arts District. Much better than being on the Strip. I know that if you want to party and gamble, of course the Strip is where you need to be. But if you're looking for really good coffee, if you're looking for really good food, then I recommend coming to the Las Vegas Arts District. Another thing I was going to mention, if I didn't already write it down here, is full disclosure, I forgot my stabilizer back home. So I definitely uh, am a little shaky. So just, just know that. This here is on Charleston Boulevard. And they have this really cool mural and they have some shops. It's called the Arts Factory. They have this really cool Love Las Vegas mural, so I'll be showing you guys a little bit of that. Las Vegas Arts District is composed of a little bit over 18 blocks of art galleries, shops, breweries, yoga studios, delicious coffee shops, and more. And one of the things that we really, really enjoyed was going into the Arts Factory building. Uh, it's composed of uh, several different studios of individual artists. And this one in particular that we're taking a look at here was saturation and even the floor had so much art, which I thought was beautiful. Right here, we are making our way up to the second floor. And as you can see here, as promised, more art, even the stairs, the concrete stairs are painted in such a way that it just looks extremely artistic and just beautiful in my opinion. And as we were making our way through this hallway, I was able to actually see a couple of artists working on their individual pieces. And I wanted to stop recording just to kind of protect their privacy and not um, catch them, you know, as they're working on, on their pieces. But um, it was really nice to watch. Here is one of the doors I was talking about, the very uh, unique doors that each studio has. This one here gave us a little look into this artist studio, which I thought was really cool. This other one here was also unique, but caught my attention because the tag said a day in the life. So I was wondering if this person or this artist was also a YouTuber. The building itself inside is pretty interesting. As you can see here, we're making our way downstairs again through some very interesting stairs. And here we're gonna see another door that I thought was actually pretty cool. This one, it may not seem as unique, but I think it really is because it really allows 
even though the shop is closed, it really allows people to really be able to enjoy and look at the art that's housed inside. So I thought that was nice. Went to the Las Vegas Arts Factory and there's a bunch of art studios in there. Some of them are open, some of them are not right now because of COVID, but we did talk to a couple of the artists there and um, one of them was telling us that pretty much 18 blocks uh, all through Main Street, kind of two blocks down from Charleston all the way to the Stratosphere like I showed you guys earlier. If you guys can see back there, the Stratosphere is right behind us. And so pretty much all of that is what, um, that those 18 blocks is what holds all the restaurants, the bars, the art studios. And then there's some buildings which house even more art studios, which is uh, the Arts Factory is one of them. I know there's a couple more behind them. We just uh, don't have a chance to visit them today. But one of the artists was telling us that they get the first Friday of every month between 2 and 11 p.m. They have almost like a farmer's market, kind of like what we call the Art Walk in Los Angeles, which is, I think, the second Thursday of the month. Um, they have a bunch of food trucks, beer gardens, and and vendors. So if you are from Las Vegas or if you are in Las Vegas, the first Friday of the month, definitely come visit that. I'm actually looking forward to doing that when we come back. Uh, today is not Friday, so we will not be able to, to visit that. And obviously it's not the first Friday of the month. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind and I definitely recommend it. Um, like I said, so far, uh, everything looks beautiful. It's so windy, so I hope you guys can hear me coming to Las Vegas and especially with me not loving um, the crowds and things like that. I, this is a perfect place. So I will definitely, de definitely be coming back to visit it. And we're actually coming back tonight. So I'll be sure to pick up the camera and record a little bit so that you guys can see what the nightlife looks like. And I'm sure is so much different <laughs> than the strip. 18 Bin is a lounge slash restaurant. It is right next to the Arts Factory. So it's actually part of it is inside the Arts Factory. And then they have that outdoor patio. Then we also have the Art Square, which is one street behind the Arts Factory. And this Art Square building uh, also has like a courtyard in the middle, which has a bunch of art as well there is some yoga studios i believe a hair salon and uh, also a bar and a couple of shops and here you can see on the left hand side that very beautiful blue wall that i think is so artistic and there's also some murals and a couple of pieces of art there as well that you can see and some beautiful trees of course and though it was early, it was almost 100 degrees. So we decided to walk into Vesta Coffee Roasters to cool off a little. And I actually had a matcha cucumber a drink and it was just absolutely delicious. Super, super refreshing. So definitely visit Vesta if you're ever here. Tonight, I will be showing you a few of the bars and a few a few bars or restaurants. There is um, in the Las Vegas Arts District. There is a lot of um, bars and restaurants, and a lot of them are vegan for the most part, or have a lot of vegan options, which is why it's been a little bit hard to choose a place to go to tonight because my husband doesn't um, care too much for vegan food or vegetarian food. I'm okay with it. I'm perfectly fine. So this is another plus about the Las Vegas Arts District. It's very, very friendly for my vegan friends. So um, yeah, we'll see you guys once we get to the restaurant or bar, wherever it is that we decide to go. 
And as you can see here, Main Street is lined with these uh, beautiful lights all throughout, um, a little bit beyond the 18 blocks, and it really makes a beautiful impact in my opinion. So this is our, uh, going to be our first stop, the Las Vegas Brewery in the Las Vegas Arts District. This place here where we ended up, the Nevada Brew Works, was actually not our initial choice. However, the other two places we really wanted to visit were closed on this day. So this was our other option. So if you guys can hear me here, we have some onion rings jalapeno poppers and we're still working on our sampler beer here's a last shot of the art square at night also 18 bin which is uh, where my husband and I had a couple of drinks on our last night here at the arts district as it got later on this evening it definitely got busier and at the end of the night most people were at the indoor lounge because they were having a stand-up comedy show okay yeah now my time starts okay that's amazing. Uh, I'm 100% Irish Catholic. I did a uh, and in half a mile, the destination is on your left. Makers and finders. I was short on time, but I would have loved to go in here. This is a 12,000 square foot mall that houses over 65 vendors also here's a shot of this restaurant with really cool murals uh, such as Frida Kahlo which I love if you know me you know that I love Frida Kahlo and um, this is one of the places that I wanted to visit the night before and it was closed Velveteen Rabbit would have loved to visit this place. Here's a very cool art studio here, some more murals, and Cerveza, another place I didn't get to visit. Of course, it wouldn't be a Leslie video if there wasn't a plant shop or a plant included. So here is one that I found um, on this day. If you are vegetarian and hungry in the Las Vegas Arts District, Tacotarian is a must. Their food is absolutely delicious and I honestly can't wait to go back to Las Vegas so that I can have some of their delicious mole tacos. And we have come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched till the end, I appreciate you even more. Please be sure to hit that red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'd love to have you. Thank you and see you on the next one.